Likely 17 year old kids who's gonna want mommy! Sexual origin, gender, sexual orientation, and all other protected categories. United States Army boot camp at Fort Benning 25 years later. Let's take a look at how it changed. Let's go. I use the skin to win philosophy. The recruits grab the snack that's waiting for them inside, consisting of a fruit cup, sunflower seeds, a granola bar, and a juice box. Now those cattle cars are pretty unique to the 90s, right? So those big trailers, they once were used to call, haul cattle instead of the buses. And you army guys comment on that. I came in a bus but it's a little bit different the way they do in the army. But those things are pretty iconic. Let's keep moving. Get up! Get up! Get up! Go! Run! 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 At no time will you walk! You will run! Everyone, you freaking go! Go! Run! Run! Now, as of the taping of this video, I understand the army is getting rid of the shark attack. I suspect they're still going to have something akin to it because it's going to be hard to break the drill sergeants from what they're used to, but maybe they'll have to hide it in some format. So far, it looks pretty similar. The juice boxes aside. Let's go, Baker. Oh, boy. <laughs> no. No. Where's your gear, bro? Is your gear back in the chamber? Because you're going back in to get it if it is. Oh. To a drill sergeant, the effects of the gas begin to wear off after a Now clearly, two pieces of footage here. One from Business Insider, one from a link in the description. But I don't know if they use less gas maybe today. You know, when I remember going to the gas chamber, you had stuff coming out everywhere. No matter what. Now these guys in the Business Insider video didn't seem like they were as affected as much, but it could be just the taping of it. Gas chamber seems, you know, that's going to be an iconic thing you do in boot camp. Not much of a change there, except obviously the snot bubbles in the 1997 video were a little bit more intense. Four minutes. Open the morning out of the wreck. Open the morning out of the wreck. Greeted it done with an early attack. Now, bayonet training, you guys that have been in recently, tell me if it's still there. We used to train with bayonets, fixed bayonets, and what... That drill sergeant was doing up on the podium there. It's kind of thing like butt strokes and how to fight with a rifle, right? Now that's when you had an M16. You didn't have a collapsible stock. So I don't know how much of that's still used in boot camp. Seems like it makes sense. Let's take a look. If we have anything similar. Now I'm just using the footage I had access to. Their drill sergeants are conducted at normal volumes. Like when this drill sergeant educated the recruits on the meaning of the military expression, ate up. Is a piece of ate up gum good? You don't want something that's ate up, right? First sergeant rushes me off the town. Now what they're doing here in the Army boot camp in 1997 looked pretty similar to what they were doing in 1990, right? Similar type of stuff, training. Looks like they must be there in the winter. And this one in Fort Benning because it looks cold and wet. I was there in the summer at Paris Island. But, you know, it looks pretty similar. You got to think, too. This is pre the big war in the desert, right? Pre-2003. So we had a small war or desert storm. Not much going on. 97. So these would have been probably the platoon sergeants. Maybe the NCOs you dealt with if you were in during 2003. And you are going to notice wearing woodland camis, right? And they were all buttoned up at the time versus the zipper type with all the Velcro. So there wasn't as near as much Velcro. That's one thing that strikes me big time is the Velcro. And I always think of the cost it must be for these young guys because Velcro wears out quick. But you can take a look at just the uniform difference. Quite a bit there. Helmet, same thing. That must be fun for these guys who are done to clean those nasty-ass rifles. Rangers life for me! Yeah, well, Rangers life for 
Up to 241 hours of infantry OSIT are devoted to marksmanship. Where you can tell a big difference, right? Open sights versus ACOG is what it looks like. Now, it looks to me like the marksmanship course, just from the footage I'm working with here, looks better, right? You're getting behind targets, you're moving around. I don't know that the ACOG is necessary at this point, but it looks like the marksmanship course, they've taken some lessons learned in Iraq and Afghanistan and implemented that, shooting behind targets, moving from targets, not just seated, prone, and offhand. A little more progressive in the marksmanship course, which makes sense. Crutes fire about 2,500 rounds using the M4 carbine. Oh, 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 and we got to remember too, boot camp, correct me if I'm wrong, at one point for infantry guys, they combined it to 22 weeks. So like AIT and boot camp and the video that's recent, this video, I believe it was just 11 weeks and then you went to AIT. So a little bit different of a combination. We can see here, it looks like they're checking to make sure there's no round in the chamber by sticking this rod in there, I guess. We used to just show the weapon to the side have like a little plug in there, but similar concept. All will jump and some will die. All will jump and some will die. Off to battle we will go. Off to battle we will go. Who will die? Hell, I don't know. Halo, halo, and free. Now, pugil sticks were a big part of it, the fun part of it. We had an, this type and an octagon, different ways. Did it really help anything? I don't know. I think it's a good way to get some aggression out for boot camp. You guys are in more recently. Do you still do pugil sticks? Because in 97, even when I was in, pugil sticks was still a big thing you looked forward to. Queen of battle, follow me. Queen of battle, follow me. An airborne ranger's life for me. An airborne ranger's life for me. Oh, nothing. Now, we did not have moving targets. I think that's a great idea. I don't know how well the recruits would do at it, so... First of all, you got to get good at shooting at a distance target right on paper. These moving targets. I don't recall moving targets. Probably didn't have the technology. Wasn't as cheap. But it looks like even 97 they had some moving targets. Probably a pretty good idea. Looks like when you look at the current video, they're shooting behind cover. They're doing all sorts of things that make a lot of sense. They let A lot of lessons learned here after all the war fighting we've done. But Fort Benning is big, and they're not always within range of the dining facility. When they're training in the field, recruits are issued MREs, which stands for Meal Ready to Eat. Each comes with an entree, like this vegetarian pasta yeah. with taco sauce, along with an assortment. Since all the war in the Middle East, I think the MRE quality and selection has grown. Probably a good thing you'd get. Good thing for the soldiers and Marines to be able to eat a more varied diet versus the same crap. Early at night is drizzling rain. Early at night is drizzling rain. <laughs> I am hit and feel no pain. I am hit and feel no pain. But in my heart I have no fear. It's one thing I noticed about the Business Insider video. They didn't show the fun part of which recruits are doing a lot which is cleaning your rifle. They left that part out because that's the boring stuff, which you all know is a lot of time spent doing. Because my ranger god is here. Because my ranger god is here. Halo, halo, infantry. Halo, halo, infantry. Queen of battle, follow me. Queen of battle, follow me. An airborne ranger's life for me. An airborne ranger's life for me. Oh, nothing in this world is free. So you can see in some of the combat style training we'll call them they're doing that high crawling they're still vegging up woodland style camis you know when you get now to this training we got on here on screen this is the longer boot camp but it makes a lot more sense they're doing more cqb type stuff that wasn't as big of a push in the 90s for sure one man calls door left. Infantrymen are expected to fight in different types of terrain and survive and win the fight. Right now, they are getting their first taste of uh, what that's like in an urban environment. Rolling tea. All right, coming up. In uh, operations across Afghanistan, Iraq, we are conducting clearance operations and uh, it's applicable wherever we go. So this training looks like a vast improvement. 
Now they learn this, as you heard that drill sergeant say, from all their combat experience in Iraq and Afghanistan. 97, you had limited combat during Desert Storm. Not a lot else going on. So this looks like a great improvement for these young guys. Great training no matter what you do in combat arms. It's important for the future soldiers' muscle memory because they are working as a team with minimal communication and they have to understand how that coordination works together. Do, it again. Do you think in 97, those guys were probably your platoon sergeants if you went in, say, in 2002. They didn't have the same type of training, so some of it may have been somewhat on-the-job training. You try to train them up before deployment, but you can see what the new training provides, say, here in 2019, Great deal better. Hopefully less casualties or at least are more experienced. Thanks for watching.